guys welcome to expertizer academy today we're going to see how to build the autocad plugin we're still in the autocad plugin lesson so today we're going to see how to write some code to um to change the autocad window uh, i'm talking about the autocad application altogether so nothing within autocad is just the whole application okay so how to you know change the window size and things like that all right to get started um, so what we do is uh, another thing is some of the tutorials which um, generally if you follow through um, they don't talk about something which is very basic and that frustrates the beginners it's just because they don't know okay how did they get to that point so that sort of stuff okay just quickly running through some of the references so in in most of the dotnet projects you will see this usings on the top so these are references that you're adding into the project uh, which connects to that particular library which is basically a dll file and then you know what happens is dll is just like another application which is which writes a whole bunch of code let's say how to get uh, the starting point ending point of the line if you just give the line object id it will give you the starting point and ending point something like that so it will have a whole bunch of uh, functions that is written within the uh, within the library so this is all whole bunch of uh, dll files so now to do that so first is uh, before you get to that just go to the references right click and you got two two ways to add it one is you add reference and then um, you can go to uh, frameworks to find all your uh, references that you have in your local machine or you can browse and get another one or com libraries so there are different things that you can add it to your program so that is one thing another way is if you right click here you got an option called nuget so nuget is basically developers can publish their plugins uh, their libraries and things like that into the nuget system so that's where you can just go there and you can search for anything let's say if i want something called with node.js so if I search it, uh, Node.js, I'll get something. And then let's say if I want something for SQLite, um, it will search and find if, if there is any SQL based uh, libraries out there, which, we, which I can plug into my program. And then you can just install it. And then if there is a new package that's, that's available, you can click on update, it'll update the package. So it's a nice way of uh, adding libraries to your application. So that is the first thing. You add your libraries up here and then um, add your usings up here. As I've already said, I always maintain any project that I work on, every library that I that I use in that project, I'll archive it based on the year and uh, the source where I get those libraries from. So that if in case, if that client comes back after four or five years, if I want to fix it, I have always have the library so I don't have to go and find those old libraries and things like that. All right, so now let's get going. So you're gonna add all these usings and then, um, and then let's get started. So first thing is I'm going to, uh, you can just copy the whole function here and then put it up here. Uh, so I'm gonna change this to set win, so set windows. So I'm gonna give the name set win. And then you can leave this one as such, you know, this is basically like uh, get the local document and print it something back. So, you know, we can use it. So I'm gonna say this one is um, your window is set. Okay, so that's just a message. It throws it after after it's done. All right, so next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, doing um, the main stuff. So remember we talked about uh, the object hierarchies within AutoCAD plugin. So the thing that we're going to access is the application services. Okay, so I'm going to write first thing is document. Uh, we already have that we don't need to do that so the next one is set the position of the application window so that's like position of the window okay so that would be system dot windows dot point and remember so this point function is also available in system dot drawing dot point so there are two types of points, okay? One is system.windows.point, another one is system.drawing.points. So the drawing.points goes into the WPF canvas and WinForms canvas and a lot of other things, I guess. So, okay, so um, point and then new, I'm gonna say zero comma zero. And then uh, I'm gonna call the Autodesk. AutoCAD 
application services application main window device independent location so I'm going to give this assign this the point into it so now that's done so now set the size of the window so now we're going to move that window there we already done that next one is the size so again I'm going to say system dot uh, this is going to be size of window windows dot size uh, size win new so I'm gonna say uh, make it a bit bigger 700 by 700 and um, so I'm gonna get the Autodesk again AutoCAD application services application main window device independent size they got two methods size I'm gonna assign this to the size size windows bang that's it all right so what we are doing is first we're setting the position so that it moves the AutoCAD let me open AutoCAD as well so it opens uh, it moves the AutoCAD to that location next one is the size of the AutoCAD window that we can set it as well and uh, then we print a message okay so that's uh, that's it for this one so I'm just gonna right click and rebuild it and um, so it's all success make sure that you check the error list and output just in case if it doesn't say success okay so that's all good so now let's go back to AutoCAD let's make it full size window and that the command is going to be net load and choose this one and make sure that the time is right so it's built it correctly open always now the command is set win okay done so let's try again Perfect. So that has done it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And then I'll add a little more uh, stuff in there. I'll go all according to the AutoCAD uh, developer guide. And then in between, I'll also add uh, uh, some of my own learnings and lessons as well. So if you have any questions, just put it on to the comment section. I'm happy to help. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.